So here we start. The, the deck is exactly as on the website. I'll put the link to the website in the description. Um, you do have the choice of, of uh, changing the push, um, the ratio of the trainer cards. You can put more red cards, uh, more Sabrina if you want. I do think the other ones uh, should be there uh, full, but red card um, Giovanni and Sabrina. I think I think that's that's where you can change. But uh, yeah, so let's let's try um, try this deck. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I mean you can choose beginner or TCG player. I don't. This is almost a substitution for for a rank system. Like they just have you self rank yourself. But whatever. We're going second. This deck is def definitely generally better going second because you can charge energy on your Mewtwo EX and you have a very high chance of getting Mewtwo EX. Um, well, one half. <laughs> uh, more than one half actually to get a Mewtwo EX. And then here we don't start with one, but the Pokeball has a two thirds of a chance getting the Mewtwo EX. Um, so yeah, and then they, they run a fire deck. Um, I mean, at this point you'll be expecting a Charizard, but uh, yeah, turn, turns out they're not running. Yeah, they're running um, Arcanine, which is good, but um, you, it's probably slightly weaker against Mewtwo EX. You'll see why. So you Pokeball, and then yeah, Mewtwo EX is like expected. It's very likely to get one. Um, and then yeah, keep drawing cards, trying to cycle through your deck as soon as possible because this is the only way you can draw um, routes. Uh, God of War. So, he, so generally, before you have God of War, you just keep attaching energy to uh, Mewtwo EX. Like, th there's no real reason to attach an energy to routes. Um, although, if you do have two Mewtwo EX, you, you obviously prioritize one, but you have to expect a little bit. But here, we're looking pretty good. Because um, because we have Gardevoir, so if we draw into Curlia, then we're fine. So um, and then they do their energy charging thing to um, to the Arcanine. Um, Arcanine doesn't especially need the charging because it only needs three. Uh, I think it's three energy or two, two or three. We did we did draw into Curlia. So this is this is a game of like. Like when things work well, how it works well, right? So here, like we don't we don't mind the routes dying. I mean, maybe I could retreat it back. It it's a it's a choice between having a damaged Mewtwo EX or having the potential of having another Mewtwo EX. I guess maybe I should speed. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, they could always Sabrina. So like wasting, uh, not wasting, like kind of using an speed. Um, might not be the best. I'm not sure. But yeah, I mean, it's nice that sometimes the play is not that obvious because if all the plays are obvious, then we're just comparing, <laughs> we're just competing for having the cards. <laughs> so uh, it's, it's nice. But yeah, they keep charging. Um, I forgot. I mean, at this point, I assume they have enough energy to do whatever, right? It's just like, it's fine. Uh, so it's, it's, it's going to be Mewtwo ES against Arcanine. And here, because uh, we have a sure God of War, so now we're ready to attack. So then you XP. So XP saves you one energy here, make the attack possible. That's why you always run two XP. So you retreat without using energy, attach, side shadow, and then boom, 150 on turn three. Yeah, this this is how this deck. This is basically the optimal way this deck could work. This draw sequence, right? And then yeah, Motris is gone. Two, two points taken, and then, I mean, at this point, uh, they probably will concede because they, they have no way of getting rid of this Mewtwo EX, and then they're gonna die next turn, uh, no matter what. Like, th there's nothing currently they can do. So th this is this is Mewtwo EX working really, really well. Um, you can ask for a better opening. You, you got second turn, and then you got uh, all the evolution line for Gardevoir, you got Mewtwo EX. There's nothing. Nothing can go wrong. Like it's done. Like so. This this is how it's supposed to work. Um, in the later game, um, I did like this. This make up. This this deck works pretty well. Uh, but but there are rougher times. So let's say 
um, second game, we're going second. We do start with the Mutu EX, which is fine. Um, it, will take, it will take some damage. Arguably, it might be better than the route's uh, opening if you do have another Mutu EX. Because if you don't do it with another Mutu EX, um, having the route's tank damage is better. So if you do have a choice, I don't know. Up to you. It's too something. Maybe it's still better to put. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I have to play more <laughs> to see. Ah, uh, so they do red card the first turn. Ah, uh, which means so this essentially gives you one less card to work with on your first turn, which is not bad. Um, you could also save it for later. Either way, so drawing. Yeah, we're not gonna spring her, you know. <laughs> This Sabrina will help them. So we do draw into a Pokeball, so it's great. Like either thing we get is fine. Um here we do want to give them some pressure. So we, we probably want to charge the active. Yeah, because if you char if you charge the Yeah. Depending on their situation. Um You could charge the um Mutu EX on the back and just treating the first Mutu EX as a tank. I think that's totally valid. Valid. Um, here we're looking for a turn two KO because like there's a potential, but we didn't draw into a Giovanni. They actually also lock supporter, so maybe I shouldn't be that. <laughs> we're not getting a turn two KO anyway, um, so maybe I should charge on the back, but. But it's, it's generally good to give your opponent some pressure because otherwise they just kind of have their board like they won't even charge Psyduck um, because we're not giving them pressure so it, it's up to people's taste but I do think that some early pressure is needed like they'll be forced to do something less optimal well not necessarily less optimal but they have to do something different say they play the Misty on Psyduck it turns out to be a like a what a useless Misty, but still they did it on the side duck, which is which is big. So now they have the uh, Go Duck, uh, so they have a potential KO next turn, which is bad. Um, this Pokeball will draw into a route, so so there are some hope. So so this this Mewtwo EX will be used as a tank. We'll attach the back, and then we'll just hope for what we're not hoping for. Um, I mean obviously a, a Giovanni will be great next turn. So here we stole them with Sabrina, that they have a a, a go duck that can just keep attacking, but then we kind of we try to. There's a there's a possibility they, they cannot attack this turn because they cannot retreat with the two costs uh, Articuno EX. It's not it's less likely. Usually people just have um, X speed in their hand, but still they have to waste X speed and the energy attachment on their Articuno. So. If you don't have other things to play, uh, yeah, uh, you'll probably exceed. <laughs> Actually, red card. I might have forgotten to play red. No, no, they they had three cards. You could you could be guessing that they are saving the next speed, but red card. If you don't use it correctly, you also give them three more new cards, which is not good. So here, I'm just kind of betting on that they don't have X speed on hand with the three cards, and they didn't. So. It both has a turn, which is huge. For Mewtwo EX, any turn is huge because that's, that means one more turn you can draw into Gardevoir, one more turn. It, it's generally a deck kind of that needs build up. So here, we're pretty good, right? Like, okay, I heal such that they cannot uh, kill us with the Golduck next turn. Um, we do have Giovanni. Uh, they have three cards. Not much point of using. They don't have an XP. They already tell us. So, like, we shouldn't play it red card. This, this is a tricky part about playing red card that you don't always want to play. Uh, you want to save it. <clears throat> then, yeah. At this point, what can they do? So, they could try to Misty into a uh, Blizzard. But generally, there's not much they can do right now. Because Gardevoir will be there next turn. I, I'm not even afraid of a Blizzard right now because I have two Mewtwo EX and then with the Gardevoir both of them can attack uh, the side drive 150 
So now they can retreat and then they do 70, but then because of the potion, that's why potion is important because sometimes, a lot of times, you just kind of, you can survive one more turn. So Sabrina potion, they allow to survive one more turn, which is huge in, in a lot of cases. And then they're, they're done, right? Because this Mewtwo EX one shot them. I could use Giovanni. Uh, I don't see the point though, like, because Scarlet is not gonna die. Uh, I have another Mewtwo EX, they cannot. Um, I mean, actually, there is an argument for using Giovanni. If if your Gardevoir is forced to attack, like, if you don't have the Mewtwo EX on the back, and sometimes they Sabrina your Gardevoir because he cannot attack, so then if you attach one energy to Gardevoir right now, then the next turn, potentially, Gardevoir can attack, but not the case right now. If they Sabrina, I bring up Mewtwo EX. So, like, is that better? Do you want to? Do you want to fight this Mewtwo EX or this Mewtwo EX, right? So um, they bring up they bring up Star U. Um, they probably have a Star U EX, but basically it's the way of them avoid losing right away because I can one shot them. Uh, the Articuno EX, whichever, like I don't care. Uh, they do get knockout with the Star U, which is great. Um, great on their side. If I have potion, I definitely heal to to prevent the scale. Uh, I could have retreated. I guess I could have retreated. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I should have retreated. Yeah, my bad. I shouldn't give him that, those two points. Yeah, so here I know I don't need the side drive. So I attach to Gardevoir, preparing for a potential kind of uh, Sabrina. But their Staryu is gonna die. And then if I do Sabrina... Uh, if I do Sabrina, that... That energy also helps us retreat. I, I guess, actually, it's probably the retreat that you are thinking more with Gardevoir. It needs two castles retreat, which is great, actually. A lot of stage 2, many stage 2 have uh, three or four retreat cards, which is insane. Yeah, but, but I could have switched out the the Mewtwo EX. Yeah, so they did Sabrina. So, that, so that's why you want to attach energy kind of in that way. That uh, Okay, I guess it doesn't really matter because like you can always just attach two uh on Gardevoir and then you have a four multi EX. It, it doesn't matter. I know. Some sometimes I feel it's better to have more options. I feel. Whatever. This is like why not? <laughs> like why not? <laughs> one sixty better than one fifty. <laughs> I mean if it's a later turn. Uh I think the next game I use the Giovanni run. I shouldn't have used it because the game is still in the middle, but here the game is gonna finish. So yeah, it's fine. Um, so so you can see there are still choices to make to be made with Mewtwo EX, which is which is fun. I'll, I'll play more before I get the next meta. Um, so the next game, this game we start first, and you can see that you, it is not very good to start first. I mean. It's still fine, but you just have to kind of be prepared to uh, have more Pokemon KO'd because uh, they will have an earlier KO. I, I guess this is what makes Staryu EX, Star, Starmie EX deck good because they have a potential of turn 1 uh, attack, which is good. Even a 20 here is not that bad. <coughs> um, yeah, so we do start with the two Mewtwo EX. Um, it's not looking that good because uh, we don't have routes. So our route setup will be late, which is not good, especially if they give you early pressure. So from the face of it, you cannot see what the stack is. Um, not yet. I mean, looks like a uh, Jigglypuff uh, was evolution, <laughs> but that, that EX. Uh, and then they have Melton, so then you know, okay, they probably rely on Melton uh, mainly. And then Melton charges itself, so it's inactive. So here, uh, I was really hoping for like an early KO. You see, like if we start, if we are second, that Melton is dead, right? But but it's not because we didn't start second. <laughs> so here, you're just hoping that next turn they don't evolve such that you can kill them 
So here, that's why I read card, because that, um, like, it's very likely. I don't think I don't know how likely, but but it's possible that they're holding. I guess the possibility is higher that they're holding. Um, what's its evolution? I can never remember their names. Holding a mountain evolution. Um, because they have seen six cards so far. So then that three cards is not random. It's like they choose to keep or not play. Or cannot play. So, um, I don't know, I think. Because they have seen more cards with that. So I read card here. But who knows, I could be helping them draw the evolution. So this is the thing. They do try to stall them, stall us. Um, which is good. Good, good play on their side, um, and then they cannot evolve, so we lose another chance of uh, KOing their Molten, which is not great. Um, and then we also don't have two X speed. If you if you stack your X speed, you can, but it's not likely you have two X speed. So we wait one more turn, hoping they don't join to the Molten Evolution. But uh, yeah, they did. <laughs> I remember this because I remember I was thinking that okay, great. <laughs> I was thinking that, you know, I might as well make a video about like when Mewtwo EX doesn't work. You know, the previous two games I already showed like how it works. The first thing it worked great. The second game it was a little bit tough, but it still worked. And then this is it not really working, right? You don't draw into routes. You don't have Gardevoir. Uh attaching energy and it's just hard to attach. Yeah, I'm I'm uh worth trading hard coat. Okay, it's minus twenty. So then we're in a very tough spot, like, um, we cannot charge them, it's definitely Sabrina stole them, one, and then now we probably don't charge the first uh, Mewtwo EX because he's heavily damaged, he cannot survive the next one, uh, whether we heal or not, we probably don't heal, because uh, their, their Pidgey cannot kill us, so they cannot get a Pidgey evolved needs two energy to, to attack, so they cannot get an easy kill, Wait, one energy. What am I doing? <laughs> I talk as if like I know what I'm doing. Why did they retreat? Oh wait, they want to keep their Pidgeot. Whatever. I mean, either way. Like, um, I, I don't think it would have mattered. But anyway. So, um, yeah. So now, our only choice is to tank one attack actually this is why i didn't use potion because the last mewtwo yet is dead anyway but we want this fully charged mewtwo to stay alive because this is our only way of winning like we we this is where i use the giovanni wrong because i could have one shot them there's nothing they can do to prevent the one shot so like i should have i should have saved the giovanni for like if they have a lot of basic with 60 i should i can use twice which is huge so i shouldn't have done that I was feeling like losing, so I kind of played wrongly, but th this is the thing about TCG, right? Like, you only win if you believe that you will win, right? So you only always play most optimally, um, and you believe you win. But the routes, so there's a reason I didn't put, put down the routes, because they, I mean, Sabrina, yes, but they also have Pidgeot, so they are they're guaranteed to be able to drive off you, and if they try off, drive off two routes and then kill it, it's pretty bad. Like, you know, the retreat, I could have XP, did, but 60 is less than 70, so like, we don't want to give them a more winning situation. Plus, I cannot evolve into Gardevoir in two turns, when the game will end, <laughs> one way or the other. The, the, the game will be finished by then. So, so here I didn't, I didn't put down routes. Um, less the chance of drawing to Curlia, like, great. <laughs> like, really, right now? So... Um, this is why Giovanni is useful, because I can get an easy kill of a Melton without using side drive. I cannot use side drive anyway, Wait, but it's better to kill Melton before it evolves, because that would be pretty pretty bad. <laughs> they already amassed and then do stuff. So the, I should have saved the Giovanni, but because I have another one, so that turned out to be fine. But that was still a wrong play. But anyway, uh, I still get to KO this Melton. Which is great. Um, and then the game actually ended in our favor. That, you know, unexpectedly. Like, 
they have nothing that can heal us. I was I was thinking that they will evolve the Jigglypuff, and then I think it sleeps. I think the EX sleeps us, so they have a one half chance of winning because that attack does 50, I think. So if they do evolve and sleep, it's still a game. Um, they probably didn't join to a, a an evolution, so this that, their deck works uh, pretty decently well. Um, it's just that uh, it's just that they didn't draw into that card. Sometimes this is this is it. Right? They didn't draw a card, and then and that's it. So, but but it's a pretty interesting deck. Uh, but but this game is I mainly want to talk about like this is when it doesn't work well, right? You don't have guard or so you have to hard charge, and then you just decide which mutual ex to hard charge. If you do have the chance, if you only have one mutual ex here, like you're done. You, you might as well concede. But I don't know. Generally, it's more fun to concede only when you are sure you're gonna lose. Like, there's no way to play. I mean, you also can expect. Not not that you can expect. Like sometimes, um, I mean, you're not expecting them to play wrong. But if they have a chance of playing wrong, and then you you still didn't lose, you you don't have to concede. You know, like they are they are not as lucky or as kind of familiar with their deck as you might imagine so you might as well not concede um, it's just more fun to me to play it that way but you know if this it's obvious that oh their next attack's gonna kill me and then there's no way they can play wrong then you might as well but yeah um, feel free to comment below what you think about the Mewtwo EX deck um, I do plan to play a few more Definitely against a meta Dummy EX or Pikachu EX. Um, I might post again Mewtwo EX deck. This, this meta Mewtwo EX deck. Um, it does feel meta because like it plays really smoothly. Um, yeah, and then you know if I I really want to try, try out the 18 trainer with Articuno EX. Definitely want to try, try out Dragonite, the either either variant, maybe the Frost Mouth. So I'll definitely post some those if I. Get, get to try them. But yeah, until then, see you around.